skills to be able to observe things, to hear things, to see things. There are natural things out there that draw our attention every day. Such as when you're driving down the road, somebody hits the horn, you look around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just a natural reaction. If you're sitting in your living room, you hear the door slam next to you, you automatically think, my neighbor's home. Right? You're, you're telling me that those kind of things don't happen in your life. You asked if I watched. I didn't watch. Have you noticed that she's came in and out of her house in the last week or two? I don't remember. What do you remember, Stephen? The last time I saw her was two or three weeks ago. The where at? She was going out running when I was coming in. Where were you coming in from? Bar preparation. Bar preparation? What's the bar preparation? Oh, you're preparing for the bar exam? Yes. Okay. Well, how y'all doing? We're just talking. You never seem to remember a whole lot. Everything's yes or no, or I don't remember. A lot of things don't make any sense. I gotta be honest with you, Stephen. Me personally, I don't feel like you're being honest. Okay? Well, Stephen, you said you're gonna help me out, right? With this investigation, because we needed your help. We're asking you for help, right? That's what we, remember I told you that? Yes. And you told me you're gonna help me, yes. right? You're gonna help me find Lauren, right? Yes. And I asked for your opinion, your observation of what happened there to her. Yes. Right? And what, what did you tell me? I thought someone snatched her. All right. Where do you think someone might have snatched her from? When she was If you're the detective, you're the police detective, it's your investigation, where would you start your investigation? I don't know. Come on now. You watch TV, right? Yes. Okay. You made it to college, right? Yes. You made it just about through law school, right? Yes. So you should know, where would you start your investigation? Where she was last seen. Okay. So in this case, where was she last seen? At Garen's house. Garen. That's the guy that lives up on the street, right? Friend of hers? Yes. Okay. All right, and that was on, I think she left there on Saturday morning. Yes. Am I right? Okay. Now, where do you think she went from their house? I don't know. All right, you're the detective now, all right? It's your case. What would you do? Check at her home. Okay. We did that. We, you know, that's what we did today, right? Yes. So you saw us out there when we knocked on your door. She's not there. You know, I need your help in finding her. What do we need to do? What do we need to do that we haven't done? I don't know. You don't know? So if you had this case, you wouldn't be able to solve it, is that what you're saying? Because you're not smart enough to solve it? I don't know. Or you think you're smart enough to be a detective? I don't know. No? you got to be killing me, Stephen. <laughs> you, Stephen. So? Stephen, listen to me. We're real people, and we're here to talk to you. We're trying, we're, I like to think that we're friends, okay? Friends communicate back and forth. The only thing you say is yes or no, and I don't know, okay? It makes me feel like you're treating me like you don't like me. And I feel like I've looked out for you today. Everything you said you wanted, I've, I've given you. I've tried to give you food several times. You know, I feel like we talked. You told me about how you like to look at porn on the internet. Um, you expressed to me that you're a virgin, correct? Yes. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you tell friends. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yes. We, we, we need to know where your other car is. I know you have, I already know you own another car, okay? I don't own another yes, car. Yes, you do. Do well, you use another car? You have car another you car. It's not I your name. Use mine. No, you, oh, you don't, Steve. You've been using somebody else's car. No. Everyone I interviewed today say you have another car. These people aren't making this up. You have another vehicle. No, I don't. So your grandfather's a liar. Is that what you're saying? You're calling your grandfather a liar. I just talked to him. And he said you own another car. I don't. So he's lied to me. Stephen, we're telling way too many lies in <laughs> So I mean, you're telling me they're lying? You're willing to tell me that you're a virgin and that you, you told me you jack off the port on the internet but you don't want to admit to having another call. That makes me think you got something to hide, Stephen. That concerns me. You tell me things that most people wouldn't tell somebody else, but yet you lie about something simple. Why are you about trying to hide that call? you have another car? What's the big deal? I don't have. I got three car. cars. You do. You do. No, I don't. It's not a truth. What happened to it? I've never had another car. That's the only car you ever had in Macon. Yes. Okay. Let me go talk to him again. If that's not what he's saying. Stephen. What happened to Lauren? I don't yeah. know. You like her, don't you? She's my friend. Did you ever think about having sex with her? No. 
You never tried to talk to her on a dating level? No. Let me go talk. They got his grandfather. Let me go talk and make sure that he owns another car because he's telling us he doesn't. <laughs> So you're telling me, you see that pretty girl right there? Yes. you telling me you looked at a pretty girl like that and you never once thought, ever? Man, she looks good. You never thought that? I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand? Did, you know how when you're sitting there and you see a girl walking down the road? And you say, man, that girl looks good. You ever see a good looking girl where you think to yourself, man, that girl looks good? Yes. You never thought that about her? Yes. So you mean to tell me you look at porn on the internet and get off to that, but you never looked at her and said, man, I wonder what it'd be like to have sex with her? Yes. You have? No. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to have sex with Lauren? No. You've never imagined having sex with Lauren? No. Have you ever had sex with Lauren? No. What do you know about that body we found today? I don't know. You don't know? What if I told you that I believe that you do know? I don't. What if I told you that I could prove it? I don't know. You don't know? Is there a chance? But you do admit that there's a chance that I possibly have evidence to show that you do have something to do with that body, correct? I don't know. You don't know? Because if I hadn't done anything, I'd say, nope, there's no way. But you say you don't know. Why is that? Why do you say you don't know? Is there a chance that maybe something's there? No. Why did you say you don't know? Because I don't know. Because you're worried about something? Maybe something happened that maybe something got mixed up with something and you're worried about that? No. Then why do you say I don't know? Because I don't know. How would you not know? If I was asking you, did you just rob a bank? If you didn't, you'd say no, not I don't know, right? Right. So why do you say I don't know? Because I don't know. You don't know if you had anything to do with that body? I didn't. You didn't? No. Are you sure? Yes. What if I said I could prove that you did? I don't know. Could you explain it? I don't know. Today you told an investigator that you were worried about us possibly finding blood in your apartment, didn't you? I don't remember. You did? Now why would you be worried about that? We all looked in Lauren's apartment. Did you see blood? No. Then what would make you think that, that there was blood taken over there? Nothing would make you think that unless you saw it. Because, see, I didn't see no blood. None of the other Lawrence friends saw blood, but I know now that blood was there. And now I believe you saw it. You saw that blood. You know that blood was there. And that's why you're worried about it. No. Did you know, Why do you have blood up in the inside of your nose? I don't know. You don't know? But you saw that blood. That's the only way that you would be worried about it. Because that's like saying, I'm worried about red roses being under my pillow, but yet I never put them there. That doesn't make any sense. You know, um, your brain doesn't even think to operate like that unless you knew something was there. Does that make sense? That makes sense. You're a smart guy, right? I don't understand. You knew that there was blood in that apartment? No. Yes, you did, Stephen. Yes, you did. There's blood in your apartment, Stephen. That's right. There's blood in your apartment. Stephen, this is hard, buddy. I know this is hard. And I can tell it's only you want to let it go. There's blood in your apartment, Stephen. You didn't get it all up. It didn't all come off. You scrubbed and you wiped. But we can tell that. Don't you watch CSI? Yeah, we know it. Steven, why is there blood in your bathroom? I don't know. Yes, you do know. Why, Steven? I don't know. Has anybody else been in your bathroom? The police were in there. Other than the police? Who else has been in there? No one that I know. No one. Been. And you recently cleaned your bathroom, didn't you? No. How long ago? I don't remember. A couple days ago? No. Over the weekend? No. No, but you don't know. I don't remember cleaning it. Do you use drugs? No. You ever use acid? No. Are you, you on medication? No.
You're lying, Stephen. I wanted to give you an opportunity to tell it. I wanted to be here with you to go through that process because I know you're not a monster, man. I know you're not a bad guy. You're just a hard-working student trying to pass a bar exam, ain't you? You ain't got a lot of support from your family, do you? Yes. You do? A lot of people can't say that. And the fact that you do have support from your family should make things easier. Your family wants to feel like they've raised somebody that tells the truth and is honest, right? Yes. Did you hear that girl, Stephen? No. Have you ever heard anyone, Stephen? No. You've never heard anyone? No. I've heard people, Stephen. I've made mistakes in my life. It's not even normal to say you've never hurt anybody. Sometimes people get mad and they say things they don't mean to say. It hurts. You never kick the dog or a cat? No. You ever hurt your, the kids that live up there with your parents? Hmm? You love those kids, don't you? Yes. Okay. And if something happened to one of those kids, you'd be upset, right? Yes. Well, something happened to this lady's child, Lauren. Okay? You love your all the kids up there with your mama, right? Yes. And you'd do anything for them, right? Yes. I mean, they called you and said, hey, we need you. Help us out. You'd help them out, right? Yes. We need you to help us out. Okay? Tell me about your family. I have four adopted siblings. That you love very much, right? Yes. Okay. What about your mama? She's a homemaker. Okay. What about your daddy? He's a painter. Close family? Y'all close? Yes. When was the last time you talked to him? When we got together. When was that? A few weeks ago. Did you go up there to see him or they come down here to see you? We went to Buckner's. I like Buckner's. It's a chicken place where the, the table spins around. Yes. You just drove up that metal? Yes. Okay. They bring all the kids with them? Yes. They didn't come back to make them? No. Well, they asked you how you was doing in school and everything? Yes. You, you had told a uh, detective Chapman that you've never shot any of those guns that were in your apartment? Yes. Have you? No. Well, you never went to the shooting range here in Macon? Did no. some shooting? Hmm? No. Any gun? No. You never, did you make the mistake and tell people at school that you used to go to the shooting range and shoot? No. You've never said that? No. Do you even know how to load? Yes. An SKS? Is that, that was an SKS, right? No. What was it? An AK. Same, well, same thing. Just different. Do you even know how to load it? Yes. What kind of rounds does it take? 7.62.39. Okay. What's the capacity of that clip that you had? 30 rounds. What's it loaded? Well, is it loaded? The magazine mm -hmm. is full. Okay. You got a round in the chamber? No. Why not? Safer that way. Safer? It's just you in the apartment, right? Yes. Why do you think it's safer that way? No chance of it getting knocked over and going off. I mean, no one lives with you. Just you. Bullets can travel distance. Well, how do you know that? I've read up about it. Well. On what, the computer? Yes. Okay. What about your pistols? You never fired any of those pistols? No. Were they loaded tonight? The magazine is full on the 10 millimeter. Okay. And there's one round in the chamber in 9mm and a full magazine. Was, was the 9mm the full size one or the compact one? Compact. And you've never even fired any of those weapons? No. Where do you buy your ammo? Have you ever purchased any ammo here in Macon? Yes. From where? A to Z guns. On five, five. Was that on 5 11 there? Yes. When was the last time you used A to Z guns? Years ago. Do you have a, a permit? Yes. To carry what you do? Here in Bibb County? Yes. You applied when you was working down at the county or something? I applied last fall. Okay. So you have your card? Yes. Is it with you? Yes. Can I see it? They, make, they still make you take your fingerprint down there? Yes. Let me see your card. How much does it cost now? You remember? Around $80. Hmm. So it expires in 2016? Yes. Do you have any pictures of the kids? No. Hmm? No. They didn't give you no pictures when they were in school? Got a picture of your parents? No. You got no pictures? No. At all? Not no, even at your apartment? You have some at your apartment? Some. Okay. What do the kids call you? 
Stephen.